There's one very simple um, Chrome web app for recording audio that I like, and it's called Twisted Wave. It's in the Chrome web store. It can be pushed from the Google Apps Administrative to your students' accounts as well. Um, and it's a, it's, if you click on it, it opens up, essentially, it'll, it will open up a, um, a website. And I'll click on that. And th then the website opens, the online recorder. I have um, no documents already. If I had other ones recorded, they'd be listed here. I created an account using my Google um, account. So you want to do that because then it will connect to your Google Drive. I can import recordings from Drive or from SoundCloud. But to create and, and to record, you actually click on new document, which is strange because it's not a document, it's an editor opens up. And click under right here where it says untitled and you give it a title. So I'm gonna go test um, twisted wave. I think this is number two, so I'm gonna put that in. Um, and again, look at the basic tools. You'll see they're pretty basic. Um, markers, audio, pretty simple, some effects. Um, and different views. So I'm going to go to down here now. Then you can have the play. Here's the record button. You could zoom in, zoom out. Again, this uh, is to fade in, fade out. So I'm going to hit record. This is the recording of Twisted Wave uh, demo test number two. Click this the square to stop it. Um, there's a little editing. So if there's a lot of delay in the beginning, you highlight that and just go to edit and cut and hit play to hear it again. This is the recording. And it sounds pretty good. So now there's a couple of things you could do. You could export it from here. Um, so, oh, I didn't know it could a camera, but um, let me go back. Or here you go to file and send it to Google Drive. So that's what I'm going to do. And then you give a choice of formats. I'm going to leave it as MP3. I could change the title if I wanted. And these I'll just leave the same, and I'm going to send it to Drive. Now, if the first time you do it, it wants to be permissions to connect to your Drive, and so you need to allow those. Um, the other thing, let's just click what this does. Oh, down. that's to download it again. That's another choice if you want. So I'm going to close that editor. And here it is on my Twisted Wave account. It's listed here um, when I recorded it, and it opens it up again. If I wanted to edit it again, um, add some more voice to it. So if I put the cursor here and I continue to record into my um, same track, I could do that. And I'm going to hit close. So it added to that. Um, so now, again, I don't need to download it. Well, I could download again because this is a revised version. So I'm going to send that to Drive. So I'll call this, this is number version three, and then I'm going to send that to drive. And it will take a few minutes, um, and then I close this. Now I'm going to go to my Google Drive, and I'm going to refresh it because I have a new one in there. Um, and it's in my drive under recent. You could also search for um, all your audios. And the next thing I, I want to do um, here to get, I want to actually put this, embed this into my website. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit share. Now what I want to do is get a link and I want to get the right link. It's kind of important um, that you do that. So anyone with the link in view, I'm going to copy this link. Now this is something I didn't think would work, but I found out it does. You can actually, now I'm going to hit edit on my Google, my website and I put the cursor where I want that. I'm going to insert, I'm going to go to Google Drive, and I'm going to select a video, which you wouldn't think worked. And I'm going to paste that link in here for the audio recording, and I'm going to hit Select. And I'm going to uncheck that. I could change the pixels and the size, but save it. And now I'm going to hit Save. And you'll see I now have a recording and a player in my Google site for that recording. And I hit play this is the recording. and it plays right in the site and it will pop out. Now this is kind of useful if you're using Google sites for portfolios. Students could reflect on their learning in audio. They could also have, you know, poems or world language. There's lots of different applications for recording that you could have students reading their stories and have those in, in there if you just want audio. So I hope that's useful. And um, there's lots of other um, recordings and music applications here as well.